Hi everyone and welcome to the little pitch of The Hunger. It is a deck building and strategy game created by the great Richard Garfield. He's the boss. A game is usually 45 minutes to an hour long for two to six players and for 10 years and over. The context, you're a vampire living with roommates in a huge castle. You don't get along, but that's your life. The sun goes down on the castle and you are hungry as f You have until sunrise to hunt humans, seduce familiars to help you. Run a labyrinth to pick an eternal rose just to pick up move vampires are huge lovers and increase your powers to become the most notorious vampire very competitive field the hunger is a race where each player will have to optimize their card deck fulfill secret missions and hunt to gain victory points but little twist the more you eat the more your stomach is full it's like running a marathon right after thanksgiving no way not happening Uh, -uh. you and your deck become slower and slower which will make it harder for you to get back before before daybreak and if you can't reach the castle before dawn a yabern barbecue right in front of your door poor you so my question is can you become the most notorious vampire without burning the ashes at sunrise actually that kind of death may bring you some post-mortem celebrity the goal of the game, you have exactly 15 turns to collect as many victory points as possible and come back to the castle. Let's eat. I'm getting a little hungry myself. As I said, the hunger is a deck building. What is it? Calm down, it's in the name. Each player will start with the same deck and will acquire new cards to fit their strategies and optimize their deck. So you're building a deck. Deck, I said deck. So please no, I just lost because I had bad cards. It's so unfair. No, you lost because you're stupid, okay? If you want to blame something blame genetics for your start choose your mode there are two options possible rookie mode and the elder mode the option you choose will modify the setup the missions and mostly the risks of dying in front of all your roommates the board is double-sided to use rookie or elder don't be a smart ass start with the rookie mode okay it is always the player furthest from the castle who plays first so the order will change over the game the dance of order each turn draw three cards from your deck you must resolve them all and always start with the discard and draw effect you can activate them in the order you want to optimize your play some cards can create combos with other cards which is very nice then you calculate your speed by additioning the speed of each card it's the only resource you'll need to move or to hunt only two actions very simple on the main board there are different effects that will guide your strategy chest for bonuses crypt crypt very important to gain missions. You take the entire pile and look at all the missions. You choose the one that is best for your strategy and you can also replace one or more of your old mission. So your strategy can evolve over the game and you can also counter your adversaries by taking missions that are perfect for their strategies. Your vampires. You're not nice. The labyrinth, where you can collect one of the roses. Extremely powerful cards that will give you benefits each turn. But it is the farthest point from the castle. So if you want to get that beautiful blossom, you better run there fast because you have to come back before dawn. Otherwise, yabar. So optimize your deck depending on the strategy you choose. Wells, they give you an extra hunt. What is a hunt? The hunt happens on this board after you moved. You choose how you want to split your speed. And with the speed you have left, you can purchase a pile. They are worth three, two, or one. Each turn, the columns shift to the right and therefore decrease in price. Sometimes cards stack up in the cheapest column, so you can get several cards for a sweet price. But be careful, some of them may be very annoying. And that brings me to the types of cards you're gonna meet in this game. Humans, duh. Four different families. They are your main objectives. They make you score. They are the perfect snack. We love a good jugular. But as I said, they do not help you move. They slow your deck down and some of them might even leave a spicy taste in your mouth or make you do unexpected things they are a pain in the ass so control your impulses and choose your praise wisely don't panic if you have too many humans you are going to be able to digest them in the right spaces and they won't come back in your playing area Vampires often have familiars. They are great. They stay in your playing area and give you benefits each turn. Love them. Adopt. Don't shop. Green cards are powers. Transform into a bat to scare your roommates. Or fade into darkness because you don't like people. Great to optimize your deck, gain speed, but they do not give you victory points. Don't lose sight of your goal. Making points. And roses were already discussed. So that's it. Each turn the moon fades a little bit. 
and Dawn triggers the end of the game. Simple, easy to understand, but winning is another story, my friends. I struggled, but what I like is that the scope for growth is impressive. Even at the second game, you're gonna be able to spot your mistakes and learn from them. High replay value, because there are so many different strategies you can adopt. The motor of the game is deck building, but the core are the missions. They make the difference in the final count, so very important. And don't hesitate to seize opportunities and change them over the game. It is a push your luck game. You choose when you want to return to the castle, so don't be too greedy or else you might lose it all. And don't forget to digest your annoying humans, they may cost you victory just at the end. Awful, worst sensation ever, I'm traumatized. It's a game of optimization and combination. It is a game for tournaments, of course, there will be physical and virtual tournaments on Game Park. We are waiting for you, it's gonna be nuts. And in this first edition, you'll find a couple of promo cards. Enjoy! That is all for The Hunger. I hope you liked this video. If you're interested, go check out all the others Renegade games and I see you soon. Bye!